Hi Scorpio, this is your reading, your love life reading for mid-August through the end of August. I want to thank you guys for all your support, for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you so much for all of you that have DM'd me and requested private videos, that have sent me donations. I absolutely, absolutely appreciate all of your, all of your donations, all of your messages. It means the world to me. So remember that this is a general reading and not all general readings will resonate with everyone. Let's do singles first. Singles, uh, this one flew out while I was trying to finish and that's pay attention to the red flags. So if you're having second thoughts or doubts about a certain situation, oh yeah, got a lot going on here. Pay attention to the red flags, whether or not that there, this is something that you want to continue with someone, particular situation. So anyway, let me get back to this intro. This is for mid to end of August for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. And we're going to start with singles first, okay? So straight up singles, not dating anyone, not don't have anything going on for them. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So this is a twofold one. I feel as though there are some Scorpios who probably have friends that are trying to fix you up with someone that are probably, you know, trying to get you connected with someone. They found a nice person for you. They think this is like, you guys are just perfect for each other. Let your friends help you. You never know. Might be, might just be something. And there it is again. I'm going to take it. Pay attention to the red flags. Um, so here it is, Scorpio. If you, if you are separated from someone, you're straight up single right now, recently separated from someone, you're trying to completely release yourself from it, but there is something that's still holding you there. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to what the signs are cautioning you about. Ask for and accept the support of others. If you need to talk to your friends about the situation, how they make you feel, what's going on, you know, maybe you're thinking this person is good for me, but in reality, your friends see a whole other side to this equation that you have any idea of. At the same time, be careful with someone who seems too good to be true that maybe your friends may have set you up with. They might have someone else that they're involved with you might be someone new that they're talking to, but they might already be seeing someone else. So straight up single Scorpios, what do they got going on? Why are they straight up single? Well, feeling left out in the cold, five of pentacles. There was a relationship, a partnership that you were in, were in, right? And I think you're having a really hard time separating yourself from it emotionally. You think that by physically not seeing this person, not speaking to this person will help you move on. And yes, that's part of it. Emotionally, however, I don't think you have dealt with it. And so what that happens is then you are feeling guarded. You're not letting anyone in. You are blocking anyone from helping you, anyone from coming in, wanting to have something more than a friendship, really. And even then, I'm kind of feeling as though you are having a hard time building new friendships. If you're feeling isolated, there's that three of, three of cups again. So, okay, I need to say this because early on, I said for some of you that your friends are trying to help you set you up with someone, pay attention to the red flags. This person may already be seeing someone whether your friends are even aware of it or not, I, I, I'm not feeling that. I don't feel that your friends would be setting you up with someone that they know is already involved. But I have a feeling that this is probably someone that they thought, you know, they would get along really good with my Scorpio friend. Not really knowing whether or not they're with someone. Not really knowing whether they, um, they have someone you end up being that person they flirt with. 
that person they flirt with and they're talking to, texting and all that, but then you wonder why they haven't asked you out yet. Yeah, that's why. Pay attention to the red flags. Then you wonder why they're only available certain dates and times. Who are they with on those other times? I'm really feeling as though it's one of those where it's like, I can meet you for lunch during my lunch break, but then they can never meet you after work. Who do they go home to? Those red flags. They are keeping you up at night. You have already thought about this. What I'm telling you, Scorpio, is nothing new. It's not. For those of you that are like, well, shit, I didn't think about that. No, 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 no. This is not for you. This is for someone who has already had that cross their mind. Okay, that's already come across. You may have already been talking to this person for quite some time. Something innocent like texting, getting to know each other. Weeks go by and you're like, um, haven't we been flirting long enough to be going out? How come I can only see them at lunchtime at work? Are they truly single? Or are they portraying themselves to be single? Are they there only for their own emotional needs? Or is that you, vice versa? Let your friends help you with what? With coming out of feeling left out, excluded, poverty stricken, like you don't have two pennies to your name, like the two pennies you're holding on to, you're holding on to with dear, for dear life. Now, okay, these four flipped over. I normally do not, for those that are new to me, thank you, welcome. I normally don't take more than two to three cards, but I will show these to you because they are very, very strong cards. Scorpio, if you recently ended a toxic relationship with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, or someone who is this very fiery person, passionate, bit of a spitfire, but very confrontational, like their attitude, like, oh, you just breathe the wrong way and they would just they would just make you feel like this like you couldn't say you couldn't express yourself you couldn't say anything and they'd cut you down right away and then they'd watch you as you just like broke down and they knew what they were doing they were breaking you down they knew what they were doing this is a toxic person or you may have been doing that to a fire sign so let your friends help you what does scorpio need help with <laughs> yeah that is that's that is that toxic relationship that toxic energy you're still holding on to from the past you need to let your friends help you move on from that help release you from it yeah you feel as though you've gone through hell and back. You're still heartbroken and disappointed. You need you need to talk to your friends. You need to let you need to let them help you. You need to see things from their perspective. You need to understand what they see from their perspective and why. Okay. Let me do this really quick. Tell me what's blocking. Our single Scorpios, tell me what's blocking them, please. How do we get past these blocks for single Scorpios? What do they need to do? What do single Scorpios need to do? Mm, mm -mm. Five of Pentacles twice. Twice. We got a card that flew out. Mm. Seven of Swords. Okay. Okay, so look, let me just break this one down for you really quickly. The five of pentacles, right? This is a couple who've lost it all. They're out in the snow seeking shelter right outside of a church, but yet they're still seeking shelter right outside of a church. Do you understand the parallel of let your friends help you you're outside of a church. Let your friends help you. If you're a church person, seek the advice, the help, the guidance of people at church. If you are not, this is, this is exactly what let your friends help you mean. 
the resources are there, but you're not seeking their help. You're not seeking their guidance. And that's what this is about. The five of pentacles is that you feel as though there's no way out of this feeling of being left out in the snow, not having a home to go to, not having a home to go to. Oh my goodness. If you are involved in something shady, sneaky, there was deception around you, whether it was you or the other person, but I do get a sense that someone was juggling here. You were juggling two jobs and you lost one. You lost the income of one and it pretty much destroyed you financially. That has you leaving left out in the cold, feeling that way, I mean. And so you need to let your friends help you. Because if you have turned to toxic environments and toxic situations like drinking, drugs, addictions, you're only hurting yourself more and you're hurting your friends because they are offering you the help. And if this was you or someone else juggling two relationships where shit just finally came out, things fell apart, you no longer have a home to go to, you no longer have a partner to go to, because you were juggling two different things. It's time, it's time to admit the deception, to admit the dishonesty. And if you don't feel comfortable coming clean to them, asking for forgiveness or vice versa, admit it to yourself, forgive yourself and move on because we all deserve second chances. And it starts with giving yourself that second chance, knowing that you deserve a second chance, no matter how much they might make you feel, they've gotten to your head. This is Bitter Betty, Queen of Swords, right? Why is she a Bitter Betty? Because she's been burned one too many times. Whether that's you that did that to her, oh my God. Whether that's you that did that to her or him, right? It's a general reading. Or vice versa. They did that to you. This is a really toxic situation that you feel tied and bound to. That you want nothing more but to move forward towards something much more promising. Towards a life that you love. You need to pay attention to the red flags when it comes to this toxic situation, this attachment. We've got three people here, whether it was you in the third party situation, voluntarily or involuntarily, but it had you stalled in life. It had you stalled. You could not move forward. It was like, it was like you just ran out of gas, had nowhere to go. But guess what? That magician card, you could use it both ways. You could be a manipulator, manipulate for the bad, or you could be the magician that's got all the tools that he needs to create the life they want for themselves. And so you know damn well which path you want to take, right? There are things from your past you need to let go of, namely this toxic relationship, because it is clear that this is why you are straight up single, Scorpio. There is some toxic energies from the past that are still lingering. And you could say to yourself all you want. I'm not thinking about that anymore. That was dead and gone. That shit is over with, right? You could be saying that to your friends. You could be saying that to your family. I don't even think about that person. Maybe you don't. Maybe they cross your mind from time to time. And maybe some bad feelings come back, bad memories, bad emotions. Maybe it makes you sad once in a while. Why wouldn't it? Your home, your life gets destroyed. There's deception, dishonesty, cheating, lying, addiction. How can you move on thinking it doesn't affect you or it doesn't affect the other person? No, no, honey. You got to do you. And it starts with healing. And shifting your mentality out of what had happened in the past to what it is that you want for a more positive thing in your life, a more positive path, your highest good. Was this shit your highest good? Hell no. And if it was, you need to fix that mentality. Because all it is is causing you confusion, making you think that having all these different options is the way to go. Mm -mm, there's too many secrets there you're hiding. 
No. You do want a two of cups. You do want a serious relationship. Deep down inside, you might be scared of having this type of commitment, but you know that you want it. You know you do. You could say a relationship isn't for you. You could say you don't want it. I just can't. I've been through too much. I'm... I just heard I'm damaged. Cut that out, Scorpio. That is self-sabotage. That is negative self-talk that isn't going to get you anywhere in life. If that's how you think of yourself, you are just setting up the plate for everyone else on how they should think of you. This is a fairly new deck still, and all these cards are still getting stuck together. Let me have a card for single Scorpios. Okay, you got two cards. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Hello, Scorpio, right? Right? You need to shift out of that negative self-talk. And um, what number card is that? 11, a master number. The master number that will allow you to have your inner strength, inner wisdom, and reflect that outward. Start making positive changes in your life. Cut out the bullshit. Look at that. Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. Card number 32, three plus two is five, and honey, that is about change, big change. Yes or no, do you need to change this toxic attachments that you have? You allow the energy of one toxic relationship from your past to linger. If you don't fully release yourself, every relationship after that has a bit of that toxicity that follows it. So again, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. Scorpios, single Scorpios, that was your reading. I get the feeling that there was quite a few of you that needed to hear that message. That were probably still holding on to a relationship from the past. I get the sense that some of you felt that if you showed just a little bit of initiative, just a little bit of interest in working things out, I don't think the other person feels the same way if they're coming at you like that queen of swords, if they're coming at you talking shit and making you feel like shit, they don't feel the same sentiments as you. They don't want the same things. What they want is payback. What they want to do is make you feel the same pain that you gave them or vice versa. Because remember, these are general readings. They can go both ways. So maybe this isn't your energy. Maybe it's your partner's energy. Maybe it's someone from your past. Someone that you still think about, even though you know you shouldn't be back together again. Right? There's a part of you that has a codependency with that relationship that still, you, you still find yourself having an attachment to it. But pay attention to the red flags. Be careful who your friends are setting you up with. Be careful of who you're trying to get back in contact with. If that person was toxic to you and they've moved on, mm, Scorpio, let them move on. Let them heal from the situation. Do right by you. Do better for you. And find your inner strength. Find your inner strength, your inner guidance. Notice the pattern in past relationships and have the inner strength and the courage and the wisdom to change them. That was your reading, single Scorpios. Let's move on to coupled up and in-betweeners. Married and coupled up Scorpios. In-betweeners, you are those that just recently got out of a relationship, someone who's probably still in contact with the ex who still has an attachment there, so you haven't fully let go, but you guys have been in contact or still have some sort of connection to each other. What's going on with 
Scorpio couples. Couples attached, married people. Mm, release your ex. So if you're an in-betweener who could relate with that single one, this has a lot to do with it. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Let me have another card for a couple of Scorpios. This could be the one. So if you have recently met someone new or you are hoping to because you're calling in your soulmate before that soulmate comes in, before you can move forward with someone, you need to release the energies from the ex. Exactly what that single Scorpio reading said. You, you may be thinking, but we broke up 10 years ago. That was my girlfriend from high school that fucked me over. I don't think about her anymore. Why'd you think about her now? Why'd you think about him now? Why do they still cross your mind? Because there's still a little bit of that residual energy there that maybe brings in doubt into future relationships. And you can't afford to have every future relationship ruined because of somebody, so, something that somebody did in your past. Okay, so let's see. Why does Scorpio need to release their ex? What ex are we talking about? Wheel of Fortune means whether you're ready or not, Scorpio. Maybe it's that Aries, right? The fire sign. Whether you're ready or not, Scorpio, it is time for you to release that toxic energy. All right, let's go. Why does Scorpio need to release their ex? Tell me about Scorpio's ex. The Empress. This is someone who could have been... Okay, this is someone who served their purpose for some time. However, I do get the sense that there was more than one person involved with this ex. And you've thought about it for quite some time, although you could probably never prove it. You felt that there was someone else involved in the picture. This could be someone who maybe, I'm just going to say, it was probably some sort of low pro ho, or maybe that was you, right? Maybe that was you who had someone on the side. Maybe you're not. There it is. That It's the Aries. Doesn't have to be. But this is someone with that controlling, very, very sense of controlling partner. It, this is either you or them who's saying, uh-uh, we have a new beginning when I say we have a new beginning. I'm going to do whatever I want. You want to stick around? You want to follow me like a puppy dog? That's cool. I'm still going to keep seeing these three other girls. And then I'm going to wait for when I'm ready for you. I got a few people I'm still talking to. I'm offering my cup of love to anybody and everybody. And there won't be any type of give and take. You will have no idea of all the stuff that they really did when you guys were together. There's a lot of secrets being kept from you about what was really going on with this person. It doesn't have to be in Aries. It could, it could be in their chart, but I'm going to tell you, very controlling and manipulative. They said just enough to convince you that they weren't cheating, that they weren't talking to anybody else. And every time you felt insecure, you felt like, I don't want to go through another fight, but why am I feeling this doubt? Why am I feeling all this negativity you can't deny that feeling in your gut that's your intuition honey you can't deny it you knew something was going on you had a feeling but you had no concrete proof they were that good probably because they've been doing it a long time or this is you and maybe your ex is the one that needs to release you and maybe you're starting to feel the cold shoulder from your ex because they realized you're never going to give them what they want. They're done fighting with you. Now they're looking for something more traditional. They don't want to be with this person who's emotionally unavailable, non-communicative, says just enough to try to tell them, yes, I want to work things out. Yes, I want to be with you. 
but we have the page of cups who only does talking creative ideas writing who says what they would like but has no action behind it you got to release that energy or someone is releasing it is releasing you someone you're the ex and someone is releasing you and you are having a really hard time dealing with that you are really having a hard time knowing knowing that they're letting you go and you probably thought that they weren't going to so this could be the one this ex that's letting you go is probably someone from your past either a water sign or an earth sign maybe a little bit of both but this is someone from your past that you just can't let go. Someone who's a little more financially stable than you. There may or may not be kids involved. You feel as though you can't move forward with this person, but you know that this could be the one. There's the Wheel of Fortune again. The universe moving you forward. So what I'm feeling is that the universe is going to move you out of this hanged man situation because you feel chained to your circumstances, but you're not. Whatever the reason may be why you can't offer this cup of love to this person, the universe is about to prove you wrong. The universe is going to say, stop making excuses. Yes, you can have this relationship. Yes, you can move forward with this person. I'm about to break those chains and show you that. And you're probably going to be fighting it. Because you have convinced yourself that there is no forward movement here. And then when it comes down to it, you feel overwhelmed and stressed out. Because you know that yes, this person could be the one but you're afraid of commitment. You're afraid of moving forward. None of these cards here support you wanting a relationship with the one, the one that you feel is the one. You feel stuck to your circumstances. You feel as though you can't give them what, you, what they want or they can't give you what you want. And so you run away from the situation because it becomes overwhelming, feeling as though you're just a constant disappointment because you can't give them what they want. You can't meet their needs. Maybe they make more money than you and you just feel like, why would they want to be with me? I don't make enough to support us. And so it becomes very overwhelming. It makes you want to just rush to judgment, rush, move away from the situation. Mm, let's see, where do we go from here? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualization, visualizations help bring you two together. So if you know that this is the one, but you are absolutely heartbroken because you can't let them go. You called in this soulmate. You have been. You've been working on trying to call in this soulmate. But you don't feel ready to take on a relationship with a soulmate. This is for you in-betweeners. So there's a lot of love, a lot of heartache, a lot of disappointment. I feel as though this is someone who's going this is like an in-betweener i don't know it could be someone who's married and also has someone that they've contemplated being with maybe you're thinking of going through a divorce and seeing someone else maybe you feel stuck to your marriage to your live-in situation to the person you're partnered with right now but really you want to offer your cup of love to someone else. But knowing that this is your soulmate, you're feeling more passion with this person than you probably ever have with anyone else. But it breaks your heart knowing that you can't be with them right now. You're calling them, 
but you can't be with them right now. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place here. So you are very, very emotionally wrecked right now. Like you are heartbroken. Because I see this cup of love. It's filled with love, but there's a lot of sadness surrounding it. There's a lot of confusion because you're saying to yourself, yes, this is the person for me. Yes, I want to be with them but I can't. And again, you're continuing with that negative self-talk. Is it that you can't or is it that you're afraid? And so you come off as this very cold. You don't show your emotions to them. They probably don't even know how you really feel about them. If you could, if you felt comfortable, if you if they really knew that inside you were feeling like this Knight of Cups, where you want nothing more than to be able to charge in and be like, look, I fucking love you. I want to be with you. I want life with you. But all they see is this. You think they're going to stick around if they don't know how you really feel? No, they're releasing you. And so maybe you're spending time with someone else, avoiding having to say what needs to be said here to your soulmate, to this person that could be the one. You want to be able to move forward onto calmer waters and you just don't know how right now. So let's figure out what those blocks are for you guys. What's blocking Scorpio, coupled up Scorpios and in-betweeners? What's blocking them? Maybe you had quite too many offers that you felt in, you just had to indulge in that became part of the problem. And now that you've taken time in realizing that after you released your ex or after your ex released you and you've gone and you've indulged in all these different offers, all these different people that came into the picture and you've spread yourself across too many partners and now you're realizing all four of them, all three of them, didn't compare to that one that I let go. And so you feel stuck again, the hanged man twice with the chariot card that flew out. Be careful. You've got a lot of majors here. So if you indulged in a few different offers on the side for you in-betweeners or maybe you married or coupled up people have been sexting flirting talking to have an emotional attachment to somebody else outside of the relationship that's got you to the point to really think about what is going on here what am i feeling and what am i feeling for who how can i move ahead in the right direction because right now I feel that everything that's going on around me is just the wrong thing I feel like everything is falling apart my romance my love life my finances my relationships with friends my job you're feeling like anything and everything that can go wrong is going wrong as above so below so if you are feeling if you are feeling as though you need to isolate from everyone to really think about what your next step is, then do it, Scorpio. Be clear with yourself. Find the strength within to be clear with yourself, to know how to move forward, how to charge ahead, because you know damn well you want that Ten of Cups. Come on now. This feels like one big giant reading like some of you in-betweeners could relate to the singles one some of you single ones can relate to this because this is someone from your past that you're not seeing anymore <sighs> if you decided to take a path where you wanted to be free for some time running in and out of people's lives being that flirt being non-committal being emotionally unavailable well, this is why you're in the situation in the position that you're in. So express your love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. 
if you have neglected your partner because you've entertained other ideas, other options that you thought were valid options. This is so wrong. I can't believe I'm saying this. It's like the typical, it's like the typical um, guy who feels guilty that shows up with flowers, right? Just do something nice for somebody, whoever this person is that you care about, and then ask for help. Ask for forgiveness. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. So, couples and in-betweeners, if you guys are feeling at odds right now, you've been fighting, you're feeling disconnected, you feel almost as though you're separate, but you're still together. Express your love through gifts does not have to be like you're going to go out and buy them something. A gift can be a gift of time. Honey, I took the day off so I could spend it with you. How about we spend the day together? How about we go do this? How about we go do that? Giving your time is a gift. Sharing and expressing your emotions when they're not used to hearing that is also a gift. So that is your reading, Scorpio. I feel the need to pull one more. I feel as though like this reading isn't over. I feel like there's a lot of emotions here that need to be cleared up. What is going on, Scorpio? I just feel like I can't end this reading right now. What do Scorpios need to heal from? Let me have one card for singles and one card for couples. Singles, please. What does Scorpio need to heal from? What does Scorpio need to heal from to move forward? Singles and couples. Singles and couples. Temptation. This is what's ruining your relationship. This is what's bringing some unbalanced energy is the temptation knowing that they're there and you could probably you can probably take up that offer at any time if you haven't already indulged so here it is singles and couples temptation and pay attention to the sides temptation is 19 9 plus 1 is 10 you have two tens here this is about making big changes in your life Singles, pay attention. Singles and couples, pay attention to the signs. Singles, you got the same card from a different deck. Pay attention to the signs. And temptation. Couples, the temptation is there, but it's not always worth the taking. So be very careful and be very sure that that is something that you want to do. That that is a route that you want to take. Scorpios, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all your guys' support. I want to thank you so much. If this resonated, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified when I upload more videos. And if you'd like a personal reading, all my information is in the description box below. You can also find me on Instagram where I do weekly live readings. I'll eventually transfer them over to YouTube, but that's where you can find me. Take care. Bye.